The Luva is a Tier 8 premium heavy tank. It's a menacing vehicle with an impressive name. It's slow, but has a nice sniper gun. The time has come to learn how to play this legendary German vehicle in World of Tanks. The Luva's trump card is its gun. Its damage per shot may be not very impressive, but it is still clearly one of the best guns of any Tier 8 vehicle. Its aim time is 2.9 seconds. After the shot, it takes a long 12 seconds to reload. But there's no need to rush, because snipers don't run to the enemy in a bayonet charge. And the Luva is, very definitely, a heavy sniper. Average damage per shot is 320. This is a pretty typical value for Tier 8 vehicles. But its average damage per minute is not high, 1600. You can improve the situation a bit with the help of equipment and crew skills and perks. Equip your tank with gun rammer and improved ventilation. Train your crew with the Brothers in Arms perk and use chocolate, and you'll have a significant improvement in aim and reload time. The Luva penetrates 234 millimeters of armor with its standard AP shell. That outstanding penetration value makes it viable to play not only against Tier 8 vehicles, but also against higher tier opponents. The Luva's gun is also incredibly accurate. Let's run an experiment. Suppose a Luva is left alone against four enemy vehicles. And they are not just vehicles, but those that make player hands sweat. Can you hit the bullseye? Everyone can do it. And now try to hit the cupola of the T110E5 from 300 meters. This could be a stalemate situation, but not for the Luva. The German tank confidently sends shell after shell at the vulnerable spots on the enemy armor like a world biathlon champion. Yes, the Luva will have trouble fighting against tier 10 vehicles at close range, but from this distance, it can cause damage without worrying about being hit by an enemy at its weak spots. Enemies destroyed. The Luva exemplifies the famous German accuracy and armor penetration value. So the gun is up to the task, but the gun needs to be placed in a fighting position, and that's not a simple task. The Luva is heavy and slow. Although it has an 800 horsepower engine, that engine has to propel a 90-ton steel monster. Among all Tier 8 heavy tanks, the Luva ranks last in power-to-weight ratio. Its maximum speed is only 35 kilometers per hour, so you need to think about what position to take and what game style to use at the start of the battle. It's very hard to change the flank during the battle. Despite all that weight, the Luva is not very well armored. Although its front hull armor is quite good for a Tier 8 heavy tank, 120 millimeters, it's rendered almost ineffective by the hull configuration. The upper glacis plate is placed at a 45 degree angle, so the relative armor thickness is about 180 millimeters. That much armor does allow the Luva to withstand hits from Tier 7 medium and heavy tanks, but Tier 8 vehicles have little trouble penetrating it. A wide joint between plates is vertical, so its relative armor thickness is 120 millimeters. Almost all vehicles are able to penetrate this vulnerable spot. That's why you have to try to hide it behind cover, or roll out at the opponent at a sharp angle and turn your hull. You can tank effectively with your 100mm side armor only against Tier 7 vehicles. Higher tier vehicles won't let you do it. Prospects would seem bleak if it were not for the 120mm gun mantlet. Sure, all tanks have mantlets, but the Luva stands out. Its mantlet covers the entire front of the turret. The sum of mantlet and turret armor gives a thickness of 240 millimeters. It's incredibly hard to penetrate it. And if you manage to hide the hull, the German tank turns into a real unassailable fortress. The Luva is an interesting vehicle. You can either play as a sniper or use it as a support vehicle. It's large and easily spotted even at long distances. So you should carefully choose your cover when playing as a sniper. Your main task is to hide the hull as well as possible, and let the turret work. The Luva's gun has good elevation and depression angles, allowing it to take advantageous positions and confidently deal with enemy vehicles while staying safe. If you want to fight on the front line, you can do that in your Luva as well. When the German is at the top of the list, it can tank with its front armor if it rolls out at the enemy at a sharp angle. Shells will most likely ricochet from its armor. It will be more difficult to fight against Tier 9 and 10 vehicles. 
Most of them can send the Luva back to the garage in a few shots, so you have to play carefully. Hide behind the backs of the more heavily armored teammates. Use any available cover to protect your hull and exploit your strong turret. Your sniper gun will help to fight against higher tier vehicles successfully. You can roll out while the opponents are reloading. Shoot at their weak spots and then roll back to your protected position. Remember that the Luva is a premium vehicle, so its crew will be trained 50% faster than usual. Also, earning credits in this tank is an absolute pleasure. Follow the link to find more details on this interesting vehicle. Learn to win together with our guides. Let's battle!